सो हेलो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज़ योर बायोलॉजी टीचर शिवानी दीक्षित फ्रॉम सी पी वी एन ऑनलाइन क्लासेस टूडे आई एम हेयर टू टॉक समथिंग अबाउट द टॉपिक दैट इज आर एन ए इन आर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द डी एन ए एंड आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट दिस आर एन ए एंड डी एन ए आर एक्चुअली टू टाइप्स ऑफ न्यूक्लिक एसिड्स डी एन ए इज डी ऑक्सी राइबो न्यूक्लिक एसिड एंड आर एन ए इज राइबो न्यूक्लिक एसिड सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आर एन ए फर्स्ट थिंग इज इन अराइज इन आर माइंड दैट वॉट इज आर एन ए आर एन एज इज इट इज इट्स एट्रोबिएशन इज राइबो न्यूक्लिक एसिड फर्स्ट थिंग इज दैट इट स्टैंड फॉर राइबो न्यूक्लिक एसिड द नेक्स्ट थिंग अराइज इन आर माइंड who has discovered this rna as i have told you that dna model was given by watson and crick and this rna is given by or invented by or discovered by whatever it is by frederick weiser in 1868 what is the structural difference you are observing here that in dna you have observed that two strands are there double helical structure is dna and rna is single helical structure right it is having one strand dna have two strand rna have single strand and if we talk about the properties of the d uh, sorry rna then the first thing is that this rna is actually a polymer polymer means uh, made up of many monomers right polymers of nucleotides and this rna is made up of ribose sugar i have told you that dna is made up of pentose sugar and rna is made up of ribose sugar right and in this ribose sugar with phosphate and some nitrogenous bases takes place phosphate and nitrogenous bases are also takes place in dna structure but in the dna structure in the place of thymine uracil takes place as i have told you that with c cars in the garage right cars in the garage but in this rna in the place of t uracil will be there as you know that thymine in the place of thymine uracil is there and what happens in this next i have told you that it is a single stranded helical structure dna is having double helical strand and rna is having single strand the next characteristics or properties are the rna contains the nitrogenous bases these nitrogenous bases are adenine cytosine uracil and guanine i have told you that in place of t u uracil t u t u thymine uracil takes place and the main function in short if you want to remember the main function of rna then you just remember that it help in the protein synthesis right just only you have to remember that in protein synthesis rna is concerned for protein synthesis dna is concerned for the transmission of the genetic characteristics or storage of the genetic characteristics of from parent to of springs but rna is concerned for the protein synthesis right it its main function is to carry information also of amino acids as you know that amino acids are related to the proteins number of amino acids converts into the proteins there are twenty types of amino acids they forms for like the main type of hemoglobin protein insulin protein and all right the sequence from the genes to where proteins are assembled right where the proteins are assembled they stores their information actually i have told you in short you have to remember that its main function is protein synthesis if we talk about what is the location of this main rna as i have told you that dna it is present in the nuclei in the cytoplasm uh, sorry in the nucleus inside the chromosomal structure but if we talk about the structure of this location of this rna where it re it resides it 
is present in the cytoplasm of the cell. Cytoplasm is the matrix, ground substance, living substance present completely in the cell. Clear? If uh, now there is a static diagram here, then I have told you that it has only one strand, single strand. If we will observe it, it is also having a spiral staircase like a structure, but not in double, in single strand. And it uh, also contains nitrogenous basin that is adenine, guanine, cytosine, and uracil. uracil. I have told you that in the place of thymine, uracil takes place. Thymine in DNA, uracil in RNA. Right? Hope you will like this content. It is the short summary of the RNA. If uh, in exam the main the question arises that what is the difference between DNA and RNA, so you have I am sure that now you are clear about this video. If you like the video, then uh, share with your friends also, uh, so that they will also avail the opportunity. Thank you and have a nice day.